YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Roberts, today joined by... Master Duke of Delirium. Today, reviewing a beer that's been on the fall beer tasting before, but we've never done a proper review of it with a proper grade. But this is the Soul Beer. Kind of like Corona. <laughs> yeah. And I got a lot of hate for reviewing Corona without lime in it, so we got lime here. So we're going to put that in as well. We're not going to use glass because I got a lot of complaints for using glass as well. So we're going to drink it straight out of the bottle, this one. Um, it's a pale lager of 4.5%, brewed and bottled by Mochezuma or something like that, brewing company in the Netherlands. So it's not even made in Mexico, so it's made under contract, probably at Heineken or something, I'd imagine, when it says the Netherlands. Yeah. But yeah, are you ready for some amazing beer? Oh yes. Yeah. And you can see the color already. It's pale, it's yellow. Cool cap though. And you can sometimes you can get them in one liter bottles too here in the market. Hmm. But you want to smell it? it? Smells like wet cardboard. Skunk. Not super skunky, more wet cardboard, I think. But there is some skunk to it. Wet cardboard, hay type notes, great. A little bit citrus, I think. Yeah. Cheers. And these are pretty cold too, so. Not too bad. It's not as bad as Corona's. This isn't really that skunky. No. It's it's kind of tolerable, I'd say. Yeah. You could drink it, but it's not good in any way. <laughs> no. mm. I'm getting the wet cardboard kind of cardboard kind of flavor. A little bit of a graininess, corn. Yeah, corny, starchy. That's just a macro mm. taste. Yeah, a, a, a little citrus hint, I think. Yeah. Not too much though. No, yeah. Um, let's do it with the limes. Yeah. So you just take one slice of lime and you put it in there. And I was told. So put it in the bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you never had it like this? No. Mm. Shit. So all the way down? Yeah, all the way down. Squeeze it in. And then, and now I was told when I was in the US, it's going to make it fun. Ah, you can do it. And then I was told when I was in the US to put your thumb in here, like this, and they do like this. Uh, uh, uh. So mix it. And then down, and then slowly out with your finger so it doesn't gush. That's how people told me how to do it in the US with Corona and shit. Are you ready? Okay, be careful. <laughs> yeah, you already spilled a little. Let's try it with a lime. Little ball. Let's try it with a lime. Cheers. The lime really masks a lot of the horrible flavors, though. It tastes more like lime and beer now. Yeah. I can see why people put lime in here. Well, the whole idea is like, oh, it's, it's so flies doesn't get in your beer. Fuck no. Because sometimes the lime, will, sometimes the lime will sit here. The, the whole idea of putting lime in Corona and shit like this is an American thing that yeah. happened in the U.S. It's, yeah. For some reason, people think they do it in Mexico, but I, I'd actually love to have another lime in it because right now it still tastes a lot like the other beer. It's really a boring, boring, pale lime. Bad beer. Pale, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put another lime in there because it tastes like still taste. I still taste wet cardboard, just hints of lime. And I saw some people they squeeze some lime juice in there first, and they also put salt in it. Salt in beer. That sounds <laughs> awesome. Because it's like tequila. <laughs> Let's try it now with two limes. Okay, it gets more tolerable the more lime you put in it. <laughs> but it's just not yeah anything worse. I'm gonna give it a thirty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> But I could drink it. I'll drink it. It's not like 20 or 10 or something like that. It's better than like Tuborg Lime Cut that's made with artificial lime, I think. <laughs> I can, I'm definitely going to finish this bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 for me. Yeah, guys, so that does it for the proper beer review of the salt beer out of the bottle with lime as well. Guys, definitely let us know what you think of these macro Mexican type beers. I know that you can get some that are actually decent. From the Netherlands. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Mexican beer from the Netherlands. No, it's just, I guess, contract brewed there or something. But I know there's Modelo Negro or something like that, or Negra or something that should be good. But if you have any suggestions for some me good Mexican beer to try, let us know. Because I know there are some craft breweries there. But yeah, I can see myself drinking this in the summer, in the blazing heat, <laughs> with a shirt no, like I'm that, sure. on, on a beach with some limes in it, because it's super refreshing. But it's, it would be but it needs to be ice as hell. If it's ice cold and there's lime in there, I don't yeah. think it tastes it that much. But not something I'd pick up again unless I would be on holiday or something. So 
Well, hey guys, let us know what you think of the salt beer if you've had it. As always, leave us a comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're gonna say cheers. Cheers. See you guys in the beer video.